good evening, everybody. Get caught up here. Tonight's Wednesday evening MDHL game. Mega noise, stealing the ball, keeping it in the zone. Gets knocked out, picked up, clears it out. We got a foot race down the line. Who do we got here? Ball in the corner, working its way out. Uh, Mix flying down the line, and off goes Scott chasing it to the corner. Got a little brawl down in the corner. Austin breaks it through, and he gets on down the lane, being pursued by Amit, who takes it off him. Gets fun dump back in. Abdul slings it out, goes the length of the ice, and Kevin Shea's gonna flag it for icing. Hello. Ever faithful J Mac and Ian. Ariane. How's the audio sound? We got a new mic working tonight. Ball drops in. Duel with his usual launch out of the zone. Ball gets tucked back in. Amit scoops and shoots, but it's misdirected and leaves the zone. Nicole down the line, Abdul disruption. Dump back in, and another Abdul dump. But kept in by Nicole. Walking down the line, fighting admit. A little quiet, huh? Big save by Jason in goal. All right, so we got down the corner, Scott slings it to the middle and dumped to the point. Brittany's getting it, but she turns it around, trying to figure out what to do here. Turns the ball over to Nicole. Gets pulled back down. Hey, you ready to jump in? We got a new uh, external mic. So I'll focus on filming, you can do a little play-by-play. Alex Ortiz here. joining me on the broadcast. What's your handle, sir? Uh, the Burger King. That's right. The Burger King is in the house. Is that with or without onions? Uh, it depends how you like it. Well, Burger King usually gives you mayonnaise and onions, so. Oh, and a goal by Alex from Chris Thorpe. Chris Thorpe punches one home. There's Alex who punched him. Alex? From Chris. Alex was wide open in the Alex slot there. Chris. Make up your mind. Who was it? I think it was Alex. All right. We got the starting lineup here. We got Austin, Carlos Cruz, and Becca Newman facing off. Carlos going against his old team there. Mega noise, battling for the ball in the corner like she does well. Walks it in. Oh! And a ball by Megan. And she stuffs it in the deep end. Way to go, Megan noise. Make some noise. Yeah. That's what happens when you get it down low there. J Mac prefers whoppers. Ah. Of course he does, little whopper guy. Oh, almost came right at us there. Ball leaves the zone, but kept in. A mitt slings it down behind the goal in pursuit. What do we got? A battle in the corner in our obstructed view area. Favorite place for the ball to go. Yeah. And it's a foot race. There's no icing. I think it was deflected there. A good clear to Becca, but Abdul scoops it away out of view. 
at a camera angle. Yeah, Jason's right, this was last season's uh, D1 final where Lord of the Rings had the big upset uh, against the undefeated TNT at the time, but it looks like they're, uh, they're starting out hot in the uh, redemption tour. Austin Whoa. weaving all over the place. Looks like there's no one down low for him. Abdul gets there first though. There's a battle with a hand raised. Patrick is gonna call Austin for okay. hooking. Spearing, slashing. Austin, Austin is stick. not happy with the call. And uh, neither is J Mac because. I'm just kidding. Now you could tell. A real Whopper guy would uh, not like that call. That's right. So now we got T on T TNT on the power play for uh, Abdul with the slap shot. Abdul is looking hungry. His girlfriend's starving him these days. No whoppers for him. Oh, wow. What a center. Right Alex there. almost had it, but Chris Thorpe bit down in the corner, working it up top. Oh, oh and Abdul, Abdul saves keeps it. it in, throws it in deep down the wall to Alex. Kevin Shea with a save, Ooh. and it squeaks by him. Doesn't get the pipe. Oh, throwing some bows. Who's that down in the corner? Is that Emily? Uh, no, who is Brittany that? Brittany in blue. I don't know who. Oh, that is in white. I don't know who that is. Playing physical down there. Oh, Chris Thorpe almost gets in five. Chris Thorpe there. and the Brittany Thorpe connection. Alex Ortiz. Fighting for it, slings it back across the middle, and this uh, blonde gal is pretty aggressive. She's doing well. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Not quite sure who she is, but she looked like Emily at first, but yeah. it's not Em. Oh, almost a centering pass intercepted by Nicole. Nicole breaks the zone and walks it down. Slings it down to Edie. Scooping it up in the corner and looking up to throw it rink wide to Chris Thorpe. Off the wall within a foot race. Oh! And, and it's a and shot, man. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, what a save. Okay. Oh, my wow. goodness. Great saves. I want to talk about opportunities there for TNT. I really thought that was going to be number two for, for uh, Megan for the night. She had a big open goal. Oh. And Amit is looking hungry. Absolutely. Kevin just has his number so far. Kevin did everything at it and kept it out of the nut. Austin is back on the course and he's flying around. Looks like he's hungry for a goal as well. Zooming into the zone and he smokes one by Jason. That was a great shot kind of running on the fly. I don't think Jason was quite expecting his quick trigger finger on that shot. Got him a little caught him leaning back on his heels just a little bit. So, he's got a pretty aggressive game here. Halfway through the first period, two to one. Yeah, these goalers are having some real hard shots coming their way so far. Mega Noise looking for more. Oh, but that... Teal steps up away. and keeps the zone. Kevin Shea. Leaving his crease as he loves to do. Running upfield, and off we go into the zone. Looks like that's Adam down low in blue. He's playing defense. I think he normally plays center. Oh, wow. Megan. Rink wide to Megan, there. but it didn't quite connect. Little Great half vision step by off. Chris, though. Megan, her usual spot, battling for the ball, facing the wall. And owning it. Yeah. Absolutely. 
definitely is a lot bigger than her size. Trying to get it out of the corner, make something happen here. There's Becca switches it. And back on the far wall, thrown out of the zone. Teal gets slips behind her, but uh, oh. here we go. Look at Becca on the back side. Becca was wide, wide open, open. could get to her. And it's out of the zone and down the wall. No icing. No uh, icing somehow. We don't know why. I think it might have hit someone. And, uh, someone could have got that. Scrape to stick. Incidental contact. Teal knocks it out of the zone. Oh. Scott. Yep, and that is a penalty. Is yes. taking a penalty for boarding one of our nice ladies against the wall. Spin move with a hand on the hip. Gave her a little taste of the wall, like and a, now he's going to running back right there. Yep, yep. Little spin move. He uh, he's going to go sit in the box and think about it for a few minutes. And now we have uh, Lord of the Rink on the power on the power play. I'm sure, Carlos is hungry Carlos for a slap is, shot right over there. Dying to take a shot, and he doesn't get it. But a backhand slings across the middle. Nicole down in the corner, battling with Abdul. Stuck behind the net on the back of the net. Abdul tries to backhand it out, but Brittany Thorpe finishes it off and throws it down deep. Kevin steps out to play it and moves it back up to center to Carlos. Oh, Carlos did little dance moves, getting past two ladies, and centers to nobody, unfortunately. Good Abdul's dump, running it out, chipping it out, backhanding it out. And Kevin Shea. The extra defender out there. Playing to none other than Carlos Cruz. Nicole down the wall, putting her shoulder into a, a mitt. And another play, Kevin Shea. Carlos Cruz comes down to collect it up. Down the wall, Nicole walks it in, takes a shot through Abdul, but it doesn't do much more than squeak through. Zone held, oh. Abdul with a sucker. It's all over the place, it's rolling. And Boyd falls on. And we got the Sheik Man, ever faithful, one of the many followers of the DCHL Did a broadcast. Great job subbing in that last game. As usual. The fastest man in the DCHL. Or at least one of them. We're going to call him the fastest. We need to have a big race one day. One day. Him All and Alec are close, close tie, I think. Uh, Alec Schuff is also. And Alex Shutt, yeah. Made me look like I, uh, I'm stuck in the mud. Alex Ortiz is getting some distance. Love to see like a NHL style, like all-star skills day. Fastest that would be interesting. DCH, shot. DCHL skills day. Who's the fastest? Who's got the most accurate shot? Other than Jake Baruby, we know he'll win the speed contest on the fastest shot. Well, we should just battle for second place in that case. I agree. All right. They're walking it in. Becca Newman gets in a little late, and they're calling it offsides. I don't know. J Mac says no one's faster than Baruby. I'm, not, know. Sh I'm not sure about that. Don't call yourself that. too shabby. I'm not sure about that. J you know, Jake is wicked fast. But. I We're think talking so, about on the ball or off the I ball. I think I think yeah. I would say he has the fastest shot. I'm not sure he's the fastest foot speed, but he may be. It, it'd be a close race. Like I said, I think between Alec, Alex Ortiz, Alec, uh, Sheik, and Shuts. And there's a lot of guys that you just don't really think about because they don't use that as part of their game. But uh, I mean, uh, Sean Miller's pretty speedy. There's a lot of fast guys. Yeah. Wu-Tang's got a couple fast guys. Oh, absolutely. They're all named John or something? Yeah, everybody's <laughs> named John. Up oh, and here we go! Oh, and there's Megan again on the back door wide open. Oh. If you could have gotten a handle on that and thrown it across to Megan, she might have made a two for the night. But she again fights the ball off the wall and feeds it back to Chris Thorpe. Chris Thorpe thinking what to do, he gives it back to Meg. Meg is down on the wall with the ball. 
And Alex, Alex speedily oh. runs after it and throws it down the wall. Almost kept it. Edie, oh, 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 that was a little shaky. A backhander down on net by Becca. A good backhand slap shot. Austin battling for it. He's looking to put it up top. And Jason, oh, and it sits on top of the net. And he does put it up top. It did, but not the top he wanted. Yeah. It's a battle. Edie takes Austin to the corner. She's holding her spot. Great pass in, but post, Chris Thorpe is going to pull that out. Alex Ortiz is going to make it a fast break, but he slips on the center line, and uh, he calls it quits for the moment because he gets some fresh legs. Coming off the bench, Nicole slings it down to the hole, down deep, looking to feed, looking to feed, and it dribbles through. Amit tries to squeeze, squeak it out, and it's still stuck in the zone, and Jason's going to swallow that one up and get a whistle. So far, TNT's been getting some great on-man rushes. Uh, getting a lot of zone time. Yeah. Um, the, the Chris and Megan are both really doing a good job of uh, running down uh, any sort of odd man rush. Getting some good chances. Whoa! Brittany comes and scoops it through. She walks it out of the zone and slings it against the wall. And then great forechecking to provide pressure behind her kick out. Teal clears it up. It's a ping pong match in the neutral zone. Slap shot on goal, just a bit outside. Abdul slings it off the wall. It goes down and off goes Scott. But doesn't, beat the doesn't quite beat the icing. And we got Joe Shea, the bearded Buffalo Wonder, along with Patrick Noise. The Our referees. As well, just not as bearded. Bearded, just not the bearded Wonder from Buffalo. Exactly. And off we go, Chris Thorpe. Hot pursuit of the goal. Walking it around, and Ortiz oh. with a backhander, and Brittany trying to jam it home. Center to the middle, oh. wow, great shot by so Chris Thorpe, one-timer. Great. Walks it past to Abdul to clear the zone, and pulls up, throws it back to the top, walks it back in the zone. Teal puts a little muscle into that sits her player down. Not and we the get a first quick time she's done that. Surely not the last. Time out white. One minute and 28 seconds left. Seems like there's an argument about whether a timeout was called or not. Now they're saying not. I think we got a penalty call here. The board says so. One, two, three, four. Looks like blue. Looks like that was a penalty on Teal. Playing man down. So Teal putting a little hip into it. Gets called for the long walk. Carlos scoops it up. Walks it in. Takes a snapper. Doesn't sink. Ortiz sends it to the corner. Becca slaps it around. Carlos looking to send it to the point. Looking for the point again. Throws it and off the wall, not in the goal. Austin tries to keep it, but Megan Noyes sends it up for oh. Alex Ortiz, another fast break down the wall. We got 38 seconds left in the half with penalty, the ensuing man up, walks in the zone, Carlos wants to rip it, second guesses and didn't really work out for him the way he thinks it was. Shea anxiously awaits. Ortiz in pursuit, trying to get it across to Austin. Got 15 seconds to get a shot off. They better get it done pretty quick here. But they're piddling around a little too much. They're one pass away from a shot on goal here. Four seconds left, and they're not going to get a shot off before this period ends. Blue did a great job on the well shorthanded right they there. They sure did. So we're back to 20 minutes, two to one. Scott Ryan Fitzgerald. Fair 
child. And Brett. Brett, I believe, is on TNT normally. Uh, just out tonight. All right. That brings our total watch viewership to about 300 for the day. Exactly. Right behind us is another two, two, three hundred, maybe even more. Yeah. Can hardly hear ourselves think. It is. The crowd's pretty loud tonight, but we got a new mic, so we've, we're trying to cut down on the crowd noise. We got a... Uh, One, two, three, white! I'm not sure what they said, but they said white. Kevin Shea takes a stroll down to the other end. He's got his water bottle. He's got two water bottles. And we got Jason taking a gander down to the other end as well. Welcome to the second period. Two to one. Blue is winning. And the blue team is TNT. TNT. Dynamite. We're going to sling it back down in the zone. Picked up and looking to clear cross ice, but he's holding it. He's thinking. He's looking up the wall, down the wall. Amit dumps one in on Kevin Shea, making sure he's paying attention. Try to clear the zone against the wall down low here. Trying to get to the action. Defenseman walks it up, slurs it against the wall and down the wall. Battling for the zone. Finally get it in. But that's quickly dumped back down. Long zone. Oh, that's right, they're killing a penalty. I forgot about yeah, that. I almost thought that was an icing. Penalty carried over from the previous period. Looks like that was when uh, right Teal right put a little too much on it. Knocked down one of the centers from the other team there. They're even now. They got a duel wide and open on that entire backside. Yep. He Slings didn't. up the oh. wall, slips past Abdul. Edie's running it down though. And a couple guys back there, but Nick gets back in the back check. Great job by him to help out the defense. Brittany Thorpe in just the right place to leave the zone with the ball. And I wish we knew this gal's name, the blonde hair and the sweatpants. She's playing a good game. Absolutely. Kept in the zone by number five, but picked up, slung out. Abdul scoops it up. Tries to send it to Thorpe, but Abdul collects it back up. He's going to walk it up down the zone, sling it down the wall. Chris Thorpe walks it in. Ooh. He's looking at a dance. Oh, and he almost gets one up past the glove. What a move. Going Sorry, I missed that shot. Like that. Down into the zone deep. Clearing the zone. Almost the same play as before with Chris Thorpe walking it down to the corner, looking to swing it across the middle. He just uses that length so well. It looks like he's eight feet long. Yep. Blocking out. Get down in the corner. Obstructed view. Alex Ortiz to Thorpe. Thorpe thinking about it. And it's frozen. And he tried to walk it into Alex, and Alex just couldn't get enough wood on it to put it past Kevin Shea. Back to the whistle and the face-off dot. Alex walks up. No line change yet. We got Teal back in the game off the penalty. No, Alex and Austin love going at it. Teammates on the uh, Gwendolyn Guardians and Red Coats, I believe. We got the ball across the middle. Megan Noyes walks the zone. Tries to center, but intercepted by Austin, who sings it to Nicole, who gives it back to Austin. And now we got a little turnover here, but Nicole bangs it back in. Adam with a great poke there. Now we got a Nicole Megan battle against the wall, fighting for the ball. Picked up by Austin and slung down behind the down low. What's his name? Dimitri, is that right? Adam. Yeah. Adam. Where did I come up with Dimitri? I don't know where that came the from. The one from High Rollers? Maybe. Does not look Russian yeah. enough. So Adam sends it all the way down. It ends up being an icing. And the bearded wonder. The Buffalo bearded wonder is ready to drop the ball again. Good face off. One. Back to Adam. 
Abdul, I mean, excuse me, Amit. Amit runs it through the zone, drops it off for Brittany, who drops it in, and we're back out of the zone and going up the wall. Cross pass to Adam, he's gonna walk it in. He's going out wide, looking to take a shot, but now he's looking to center. He slows it down, thinks about it. Lost down behind the goal. Scott fighting for it on the wall. He's got two on him. Carlos trying to get him with a little beaver tap, tail tap to get him to throw the ball the wrong way, but he doesn't go for it. Goes all the way down and Jason serves it back up to Adam, who serves it back down to the wall. And, that's out. and it goes wry. Adam scoops it up and goes. He's gonna go back down to the wall like he did last time. This time uh, hits a little obstruction early. Tries to turn and trip, but Brittany keeps it. Oh, Scott almost tips it in. What a great play. He slings it back to the middle. Who's home? Looks like Teal is gonna try to keep it, but Carlos it blows right past her. And Speedy Carlos takes it down the wall. Dumped in the corner. Becca Newman rolls out, slings it to the goal. Jason blockers it aside. Teal slings it behind. Adam takes a chop at it. And Teal takes a poke at it behind the goal. It's back on the wall. We're trying to get it out of the zone. Looks like Brittany's going to take a little walk of fresh legs. And, and we got a whistle. It. They threw it the length for an icing when I wasn't looking. Looked like Jason's uh, getting some wise words from. Uncle Joe on what is a freeze and what isn't a freeze, my guess. Ball drops in and goes to the point. Great job of getting it in there. Oh, wow. She's got a shoulder in, puts it in place, goes over the goal, down low, Edie holding tight. She holds her zone. She's not going to let much pass her. And she. Holds her own in the corner. Oh, and the ball is in the and air. It's, oh, the my crease. God. Spinning with a lot of bounce in it. The spin took the bounce away from the net, fortunately for Jason. And look at Alex on the back side there. Oh, wow. He was streaking. We got another Ben on the, on the feed today. Ben Wilson. Ben Berger meet Ben Wilson. Thanks for joining us. Yes, absolutely. 13 minutes left. It's still a two to one game. 1,300 viewers. TNT. Still in control of the scoreboard at least, but it's a pretty even battle out here. I wouldn't say anybody's over dominating the other team. A lot of fast breaks, a lot of run in the neutral zone. Austin, as usual, with fleet feet and speed down, slings it down, but uh, didn't get it on goal this time. Absolutely. It's in the middle, Alex Ortiz and Austin battling in the blue line, neutral zone battle. Nicole off the wall, sends it down in. Austin oh. scoops and shoots. Ooh. Nice Little shot, there. nice shot. He centers, Great Abdul, job by Abdul, to be Abdul there. takes it off. He sends it over to Chris Thorpe who walks it down the wall looking for a trailer and here comes Mega Noise. But uh, Stoutly packed, picked up off his stick and taken off the wall. A little mishandle there in the neutral zone, but Austin ends up with the puck, or the ball. Gets it in the zone. Walks it down in, but oh, Megan, Megan not able to clear it. It's a shot wide and high, down to the corner. Obstructed view. Down in the corner, Teal slings it cross. Ends up back in on stick. He takes a quick shot. And it's frozen between his legs there. Great kick save, stick save by both these goalies Jason are playing, Boyg. Both these goalies are playing great so far. Boyg is usually right on time with the stick saves. And he certainly was on that one. Ready and waiting for Austin's quick trigger pull. 11.33 in the second half. Mitt tries to get it back to Teal there. A little miscommunication, but... Oh. oh, Austin with a quick snapper. Didn't sink. Oh, 
Oh, wow, that gets right between her legs. And Scott's got some Down in the corner, Scott's looking around. Who does he have? What does he got? He's thinking, he's dogging, he's dancing. Sends it to the point. point. Put it on. Adam dumps it down. And oh, and it's loose oh. behind Shea, but it gets cleared out. Alex almost got that. He had some great position there. Just couldn't get battle the on the wall. Back. Becca and Teal. Adam picks it up, walks the zone, throws it deep. A little off the pipe, though. What do we got? A battle down the wall. It comes to the middle. Alex Ortiz with a quick shot and a high blocker save by Kevin Shea. Carlos has some space, it looks like. Two on no one. No help, though. Oh! And it's a clear. Right to Alex. I was thinking Alex was on his team for a moment there. That's probably what he was thinking, too. They do play together oh, quite a and bit. And Thorpe walks it in. Oh! Shea with a big dance move. Wow. That is how to cover some space there as a goalie. He took away Thorpe's lane to run. And uh, even though Thorpe did hurdle him, he didn't end up with the ball in the process. So we got a breakout. Abdul's going to walk this one back around. Slings it back to Alex Ortiz and with speed and with Thorpe. Oh, and it's in the hole. I think uh, Shea may, maybe pulled up a little bit thinking that was going to end up on Thorpe's stick. Yeah. I would have guessed the same if I were him. But uh, Alex pulls the trigger. And I think he dunked it five hole. Yeah, TNT's been getting a lot of those rushes. They finally uh, finish on one. It's been a little bit. I mean, the only thing worse than an Alex Ortiz fast break is an Alex Ortiz with Chris Thorpe trailing fast break. Absolutely. That's really not something any goalie wants to see. You can put two defenders in front of that, and you're probably not going to have too much. Yeah, it's still, it. yeah, it's still a dance no one wants to be a part of. Oh, and that ball almost gets through. We got the ball deep in the corner in our favorite obstructive view location behind the curtain. Ball dances down behind, Megan Noyes on control, looking up, feeding to the middle. Kevin Shea sticks it behind the goal. I wonder what Megan's point total is for the year. I know she is a dangerous, always centering the ball, always controlling the ball player. You don't see her scoring too much. She usually gets a lot of assists, but I mean, yeah. every here and there, she, she manages to get Well, that's why I said I wonder what her point total yeah. is, because she's got points, just oh, yeah. not goals. Absolutely. She definitely comes out of a lot of games with uh, two points, three points, I bet. She's got a goal so far tonight, uh, and there's still plenty of time to be played. Abdul with a slapper, and uh, Kevin go. Shea kind of dismisses it with an almost glove save but it, he knew it was offside, so it didn't really much matter. And we're back down in the zone. I keep wanting to call TNT Blue Steel with their blue jerseys on. Wrong division. I'm in that, <laughs> yeah, I'm on Blue Steel. I should know better. All right, so we're down to seven minutes and 45 seconds. Three to one, TNT. They're starting to look for burn clock, but a guy like Austin isn't going to be one that's going to sit on his hands and let them just walk around. Yeah, just like Chris Thorpe has so much distance he can cover. That long build. And, and Alex both fantastic on the face-off. And Austin ends up with it again, trying to walk through the crowd. Brittany for the save and secure. And looking for Chris Thorpe down the wall again. He's working it. He's walking it. He's pushing. He's poking. What's going to happen? And we just love that obstructed view down behind the curtain. Never know what's happening down there. Oh, Austin grabs one. He looks and looks like he's going to try to beat Alex with speed. Drops it back to Nicole once he gets the zone. What a great throw on goal. That was a beautiful pass. Dump it in. Uh, crash the net. Yeah, Nicole's a smart player. She doesn't mess around. Oh, yeah. She keeps the zone. Carlos looking to throw it to the point. Point is going to slap it on goal. Oh, and it hits Jason. Oh, oh. it's loose. And Brendan Jason Boyd backs, to to ba backs down to the pipe. No trigger pulled on that one. That was exciting. 
Alex Ortiz looking to walk. He slings, he throws. And, and we got Chris Thorpe looking to run it down. We got Brittany Thorpe trailing. Will he feed her? He tries to, but Austin locks her down. The Thorpe to Thorpe connection broken yeah, up there. Almost. Alex Ortiz with another intercept in the neutral zone. And they got to step away from it with an onside play. Carlos taps it down. Jason Boyd drops it loose for Adam down in the corner. They're going to pull up and burn a little clock as they should. Alex Ortiz throws it in deep and takes a walk. Scott chases it down. Great job by Alex to get it in the neutral zone before dumping that. Yep. They are facing illegal icing right now. They ice it because they're up by, or not in D1, but. Yep, inside five minutes. Yeah. And we got a dump and chase. Who's going to win the chase? Edie gets it up. Great job by her. And we got to dump the far end. I thought there was a whistle there, but I guess there wasn't. Then goes just a nice foot screech. People are yelling nice. offsides. I'm not sure who's off, who's on. It, things got confusing there for a moment, but it's in the neutral zone. Oh, Nicole, I mean, um, Megan dunks it down. TNT is doing a great job of moving the ball around, burning up time. Just not turning it over. Spreading the field and trying to poke some long passes around. Amit down in the corner, wasting time. Sends it to Megan, who pokes one on the pad of Kevin Shea. Amit stoutly keeps it in the corner down low, but it gets a clear out. Edie scoops it up. She's going to throw it back in the zone. Megan is going to get on sides. And we got a walk back up to the point. Abdul is going to pick that one back up, push it down. That is going to be icing. And that's going to be a two-minute penalty with four minutes left in the game. Not what TNT wanted right now. No, but sometimes in that kind of situation, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's now, they gotta, now they're able to ice it for the next two so, minutes. A little extra heat on Jason Boyg's head right now. He's got to be thinking two minutes. He's going to have a four-minute game with two minutes man down. Brittany Thorpe with the intercept. Brittany Thorpe with the pressure. What a great forechecking play that is. Wow. Wow. Running all over the place. She just took on three people in that play. Got a Amazing. Motor on her. And Edie's going to just poke it through and chase it down. She's running it down. It's a foot race to the corner to our favorite obstructed view in the corner behind the curtain. They're walking it around. They're playing a little down low, a little crazy reckless if you ask me when they're down by a player, but Alex does have speed to recover if he's got to get back. Absolutely. And he gets the ball and he shoots and Shea with a big save, keeping it at a two point game. Two minutes and 57 seconds. They got just under a minute left to power play. Call a timeout. It looks like a penalty kill. And the question is, will they clear the zone and get Shea out with 45 seconds left. They'd like to get two men up, or at least even it up on the floor possibly. And there is a timeout. I think they're going to think about it, talk it over. And we've got a, speaking of the bearded wonder Joe Shea, we've got a beardless wonder Kevin Shea. Looks 10 years younger over there. He looks like he's about 15. I wonder if his parents drove him to the game tonight. <laughs> Well, Kevin Shea talks it over with Carlos. I think he said, don't let the ball go in. And, and Kevin said, yeah, uh, I figured that much out so far. He said, uh, I'll take the shots. Kevin is going to stroll back down to the corner. And our TNT brethren here are thinking about how they're going to get one to possibly get an insurance goal. More it's always good. Kill that penalty. Kill the penalty. And they got one minute left to kill. Three minutes even left in the game. Three to one. And Kevin Shea gloves it down. And she's going to send it back to face off circle. And oh my goodness, that was close. Yeah, it was. And Alex is a good job of getting there. Alex Ortiz playing interference between three players. He's going to run this one down. And Carlos sends it down the wall. They're trying to work it in the zone. Austin chases. 
Carlos open. Where the ball go? Carlos got the ball down low. Looking for a centering pass. Boyd back up on his feet and out of the butterfly. One on goal. Tip topping around. Boyd down on the butterfly trying to lock up the zone. And Austin saves the zone, but Meg works itself free. And she's fighting Nicole against the wall. And it is even in seven seconds. Megan holds the zone. Ortiz fighting for it. He's going to dance. He's going to dawdle. Oh, and he throws one. And we got a penalty coming up, I think. I think we're going to get our blonde gal that we don't know the name of. Uh, they're calling her for a high stick. I didn't see the high stick, but maybe she did go around him. I think she wheeled uh, unknowingly, trying to get around Alex when he was dancing. Um, we've all been guilty of that. Absolutely. My God. I think they, they were talking about putting that on my jersey when I first started playing. Eric High Sticking Taverner, they were calling me. Not All right. The shortest jersey, but it worked. 117 left to go. Amit dumps it deep. And this is going to be an icing, but they didn't call it. No, he, it looks like he got in the neutral zone. Oh, that was almost a backhanded goal. The net is empty. Kevin Shea is vacated. And Scott taps it in for a goal. Uh, Nicole, not thrilled about it. I think she uh, slid in on her knee a little bit there. and Used to having a little more pads on her. Yep, yeah, she's a goalie. She tried to make a save. She's a goalie when she's not on the field. And both of us, of course. That's what they tell me. People always ask me that. Are you a goalie or are you a forward? So actually, I'm a defenseman. Huh? <laughs> I tell them neither. I say I'm a hockey player. That's generous for me. 17 seconds left. It looks like it's going to happen. Just the way we thought it would. They are what we thought they are. TNT. Nine seconds left. Scott providing some pressure. Amit looks like he's going to get one more shot off before the whistle. Oh, he generously gives it to Scott. And Scott tucks his second in for the night. And that's the end of the game. Ending 4-1. With an extremely five one now. No, it was four. It was four. Did they count the? Did they not count it? You're, yeah, you know what? You're right. That was it's five. Five. Yeah. It's five. Two at the end, right there. Scott with two quick goals at the end, and uh, our usual DCHL handshake, where we all decide that we are friends again, since we all play for every other team, anyways. Yep. <laughs> Everybody's got to be friends. Everyone's a teammate somehow. Quite a shocking ending there with that no defense. Fast break two on none. Kevin Shea gets top shelved. Scott with the uh, tippy tap tap. And it looks like TNT and gets their revenge for the uh, championship game. We got the next game coming up here. I don't know who's going to videotape this one. We're going to wait a few minutes to see if Kevin Shea, but in the meantime, we're going to tune out. We have coming up next, this is, who do we have here? Uh, Puck Mafia, Puck Mafia uh, versus Pucks? the Lucky Pucks. Two teams ready to go.